Well, hey everyone, and welcome back. Today we're continuing our journey up through geologic history by progressing from the Paleozoic era into the Mesozoic era. Now, if you know anything about the Mesozoic era, hopefully it is that the this was basically when we had dinosaurs, right? That's that's one of the biggest things that most people are aware of. Uh, but the Mesozoic era spanned from 252 to 66 million years ago. So you can tell it's it's a quite a bit shorter than the uh, Paleozoic era, and that's because uh, well. While the Paleozoic, if you watch the other video, you know I had six whole periods stored into it, and the Mesozoic only has three. So hopefully this video will be much more uh, digestible, much quicker. But we break these up into the Triassic, the Jurassic, a word that's become widely known due to a certain series of Spielberg movies, and the Cretaceous period, which of course ends the Mesozoic era, and then we progress into the Cenozoic era. But those are our three periods. Now we'll take a look at each one in a bit more depth. So the first of the three is the Triassic period, which of course marked the beginning of the uh, Mesozoic era, so it spans from 252 to about 201 million years ago. And this one is interesting, well, this is when we have our first dinosaurs. They first appear in the Triassic period, making the Mesozoic era uh, the time, the era in which they're known to have existed. We have our first dinosaurs, um, and that, that's really the big thing, but also interesting um, in terms of global geography, we have Pangaea. Um, this is when Pangaea existed. Anything previous to this was as Pangaea was forming, or uh, even further back, there were other supercontinents that existed. Um, but this is when Pangaea itself was actually known to exist, um, and then it breaks up later on. And you know, this was good for good served as good evidence for um, Alfred Wegener in developing his theory of plate tectonics. You know, based on the fact that we could find different fossils in different locations um, with the, that today have completely different climates. Um, so he thought, well, they must have, these continents must have been connected at one point, so some, there must be some internal force. But plate tectonics is a whole other topic right now. We're just looking at key events. And finally, we have uh, global changes in uh, climate which is what results in that sort of uh, muggy, swamp-like uh, climate that we usually associate with dinosaurs in the Mesozoic era. So global changes in climate and ocean circulation, which is not necessary to any any particular understanding right now. It's, it's just good to know. Okay, so the Triassic, not, not, not too much interesting about it. However, we do have our first dinosaurs, which are, of course, very well known, and Pangaea, which is quite well known. Um, but now we progress from the Triassic into the Jurassic period. And there's, there's quite a bit of interesting information about the Jurassic. First off, it spanned from 201 to 145, about a million years ago. And one of the most interesting things is that we have our first birds in the late Jurassic. Now, of course, if you know the exact first bird, then this name should fami sound familiar. We've got the Archaeopteryx. Probably spelled that right. It's a nasty name. Which is, you know, that skinny looking uh, half bird, half reptile looking kind of thing. Um, it actually is classified as the first bird, as its name in implies. Uh, I forgot if it's Greek or Latin, but this uh, basically means first or original bird. Um, and also, pertaining to life, we have the prevalence of uh, large herbivores. 
which of course when we think of dinosaurs, um, we usually either think of the large scary uh, things like the Allosaurus or the Tyrannosaurus rex, you know, the big carnivores, um, apex predators. However, you know, there's the other side when we think of maybe the more gentle giants, like, uh, what's this guy called, the Apatosaurus or something? I'm not, I'm not too keen on my, all my fossils, but you know, the really long neck, really tall guy, and then a really long tail. And you know, this guy, just eight leaves, nice big gentle giant. Um, and then after the large herbivores, we also see development of large marine predators. Once again, this refers specifically to reptiles. Um, so we had things like the uh, what are they called? the Mosasaurus, the uh, Plesiosaurus, the Ichthyosaurus. You know those sort of well-known giant uh, um, marine carnivores. And finally, uh, this is the period in which Pangaea begins to break apart. So the Jurassic, a lot of a lot of interesting things in terms of development of life. Um, a lot of the most interesting dinosaurs that we know come about in this period. Probably why uh, they chose Jurassic Park instead of Triassic or Cretaceous uh, Park for the title of that movie. Um, or actually, it started off as a book. Didn't, yeah, it did. So probably why the author uh, chose the name Jurassic, because it definitely did introduce a great variety in dinosaurs. And then, of course, we had the marine ones, we had things like Archaeopteryx. So a lot of interesting st stuff can be said about this one in terms of life and dinosaurs. But, alas, everything has to come to an end. And this is where we get to the Cretaceous. Which, of course, marks the end of the Mesozoic era. So the Cretaceous period... There's really one big interesting thing about it, which is, of course, tied to it being the end of the uh, Mesozoic era. So this was 144 through 66 million years ago. And first, some more positive things, I guess. Uh, we have our first flowering plants. It's pretty nice. I, I like flowers. First flowering plants. And we also have, in the late Cretaceous, our first mammals. So we see a large development in mammalian groups, um, in addition to a uh, large development of birds. Though they were first introduced in the Jurassic, of course, there's nowhere to go but up, and we see um, larger amounts of them, uh, more, more varied uh, structures and such that allow them to you know, they evolve in different ways, and we get a huge, a huge, a much greater amount of variety. So mammals, birds, and flowers, you know, those, those are pretty, uh, pretty um, standard modern-day things that we can think of. Um, and all seems to be going well, but of course, if you know geologic history, then if we are ending an era, then something has to happen to cause a great amount of change. And, of course, this is where we get our mass extinction. Not as large as the one that occurs between the Paleozoic and the Mesozoic eras. However, this one is talked about a lot because it poses the question of, oh, what killed the dinosaurs? You know, most people can agree it was some sort of um, asteroid from outer space that comes in, strikes the Earth. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure exactly. I've heard theoretically about a kilometer in uh, length that is able to send enough ash into the, enough uh, dust, rather, up into the atmosphere that it blocks out enough of the sun such that only the smallest things that require the least amount of energy are able to survive. So this is where we get the end of dinosaurs. That's the big interesting thing there. Um... A lot of other things went extinct, too. I think Ammonites uh, did at this point. I'll talk about mass extinctions in history later, um, because there are a lot more than just, just the two I've mentioned in these videos. 
Um, there actually were several throughout periods like the Jurassic. Um, it's just we don't talk about those as much because they aren't as significant. They don't, they don't show up as major changes in um, life on Earth. So yeah, that's an overview of the Mesozoic era. One of the more interesting ones because dinosaurs, right? Um, so yeah, the Triassic, Jurassic, and ending with the Cretaceous. Hopefully this is informative, otherwise good review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next video. Ciao. Now, of course, one of the first things you notice when you look at this is you say, well, wait a minute, the Earth isn't 542 million years old, so what came before this? Well, this is, this is really what I meant.